Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. Of course, my name is MimniQ787B, and we're on episode number five of the NASCAR Thunder 2004 career mode. In our last episode, we had a very fast start going in at Atlanta, qualified in the top ten, surprisingly enough, and and I think we had a pretty decent finish. We ended up finishing in the top 30 for the first time in our career. Hopefully, uh, this next race here is going to be a little bit better in terms of our... Uh, our standings so so in terms of the point standings here we have dale jr who who is our most recent winner got on, got himself further ahead in the points a little bit over tony stewart dale jarrett harvick and rudd who's having a very fantastic run in the 21 car this season for the top five points we moved up a few spots to 34th in place 34th place meanwhile our owner driver rival brett budine is about two spots ahead but we're actually getting closer to jack sprague as well as they both have the same amount of points so let's tr let's hope that we can catch up to them. In terms of our shop additions, we only have three races left of our tire mounting machine. It's gonna be great when we get when we get some better tire wear in the future. We're gonna need it at some tracks. Kind of wish we had it at Darlington right now, but oh boy, yeah, this is probably gonna be the norm here. Basically, just having like 50, 50 equipment every other race. It's gonna be it's gonna be uh not not well. I don't think actually, it's gonna be pretty bad. We still have a few more races for our sponsorship as well. <laughs> uh, let's get everything all situated. It really doesn't even matter what, what parts we get. We're going to be going racing with a 51 car rating. Alrighty, off to qualifying we go. Okay, so I, I, I think that I didn't really run very well in practice. I mean, 28 7 is not that bad on the lap time, I, I think, for today. But... I had to adjust it. The, okay, now I'm extremely tight, so I have to worry about the second lap. Um, I was just having a hard time getting off of two here. Just getting so loose off of two, and I can't even drive this thing straight now. Uh, Alright, let's see what we can do for a second lap here. Alright, money lap, here we go. Nope, it got tight. Dang it. Come on. Get a good three and four here. And let's see where we qualify. Qualifying in. We'll be faster on race day, don't worry. Top 20, su surprising. Top 20 already. That's actually a pretty good qualifying run, not gonna lie. That was pretty good. On the pre-race. This is Joe Moore along with Barney Hall for MRN and we're live at Darlington Raceway, the granddaddy of super speedways in Darlington, South Carolina for the Carolina Dodge Dealers 400. Well, I've heard it all week, the track too tough to tame. What's that all about, Barney? Well, we'll see a lot of drivers run right up against the wall here all race long. That makes you fast, but it can also be very costly when you make even the slightest mistake. That car of Elliott Sadler sure is something else, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely one of the most interesting paint schemes in all of NASCAR. You certainly don't have any trouble picking him out on the racetrack, and that's what a sponsor is after. The Sears Craftsman car is towards the bottom of the points list this season. And how frustrating that must be. You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days to gain the valuable points you need. Well, screw These guys you need too, a Joe. Just to regain their confidence as a team. Jerry Nadeau is one of those guys who you just keep expecting to break out and have a good year. Yeah, you do, but he's got a ton of talent and some good equipment. He's shown he can win and run up front. Now he's just got to string some success together and gain some confidence out there. Okay, um, I really didn't like what Joe Moore had to say about us, but, uh, <laughs> top 20 starting spot, but I expect this to fall apart again, and, uh, I think Darlington's gonna be a really, really rough race for us. Let's get into it. And 
and away we go. Here's our sponsor objective behind us. Oh, hi Dale, hi Dale Jr. How are we doing today? And we'll take where we're at. Anyway, 73 laps here today at the two tough to tame. 50-50 equipment. Let's see if it can stick here. I hope they get a, a decent finish here today. Uh, I'm hoping uh, uh, 37 or 40th. I want to get at least the top 40 because that's the sponsor objective. Darlington is one of those pass tracks where it's kind of hard to pass cleanly. Still beside you. Be patient. I'm just trying to let all these cars, uh, faster cars, go by because I already know Dale Jarrett's a bit faster, Labonte's faster, maybe even Ward Burton's faster. I'm surprised I'm even keeping up here. Ran the corner a little bit too deep there, so I'm going to let Labonte go by. Oh, okay. Sometimes the AI really check up here in this track. They check up off of four and they check up off of two. Especially on restarts. And sometimes it might happen where the whole field checks up and you would just run into the back of someone. Um, you know, they haven't really pulled away from us, surprisingly. So that's really good stuff so far. They had, uh, well, some of the lead packs completely pulled away from us. We're having a fantastic start once again. Actually, we're going to be making some passes here. Look at that. We're passing, passing Mayfield. We potentially, we could pass Wood. But I'm not sure if I'm uh, pushing my tires too hard or what. I mean, I haven't squealed, I haven't squealed them yet, so that's good. Oh, but we can easily get Mayfield on the corner. Ooh. I was not clear there. Yeah, good stuff so far. We didn't lose too many spots like I was like I was fearing. Good stuff. Good stuff so far. There's just a lot of cars up here now. Don't hit the wall. Be good. We're not having a Darlington Stripe yet, but there's some other people that are having a Darlington Stripe. That's for sure. It's a really common thing around this track. Oh, this thing gets super tight after a while. Maybe I really am pushing that right front to the limit here. We got some contact up there. Watch it. Oh. Jamie Mack and Dale Jarrett get into it, into each other. Like that like that would happen sometimes at this track. Oh, the right front's already wearing out after nine laps. I'll, t I'll try to let Jarrett go by. Point. If you can pass me on the inside here, that'd be fantastic. Oh, so uh, got by you. Ah. Go after it. I'm not going to let Jamie... No, oh, no! There we go. There's our Darlington Stripe. Ah, we were having such a fantastic run there, too. Alright, let's stay focused and get back up there. Again. <laughs> okay. uh, there goes our 23rd spot. Bit of Palby's running 26. Well, that's a decent run for him. Oh, this frame rate gets so bad on the front straightaway. Like the uh, emulator just goes down to like 86% speed. I, I can only imagine how bad it is going to get on pit road. Yeah, I don't even know what the uh, fuel run is here. Right rear's getting worn. Take it easy out there. Yeah, our, our lap times are pretty clear that there's a lot of fall off, and the right front is just pretty much gone. I don't 
know what I don't know what I want to do with the setup though because I really don't want to uh, I don't know uh, I might increase the tire pressure by one to see if that helps but I'm afraid it's gonna mess me up in the corner and Kevin Harvick's back here what the heck he's not even the leader either because the blue dots in the back straight away so he's having an awful race so far See that he got caught up in that traffic there, just couldn't get around anyone. It is hard, hard to pass at Darlington in this game. The 29 car is coming up quick. I'll be at the left here, though. 29 is inside. Someone got by you. Let's go after him. All clear. Have to slow down so much in three and four. Oh boy. Okay, we're good. Get off the wall. Bring it in when you're ready. We're in our pit window. I gotta do something about this tire wear. I mean, this is why I, I built the, uh, I got the, uh, tire wear ch stuff first instead of the engine power, like I always do. Fittipaldi's just doing a fantastic job just holding up everybody back there. Yeah, there goes the right front being very worn. We're not even in our window yet. We're pretty close to it, though. Number one, now left. You're dropping back. What's wrong? You're clear. Uh, Did now, or are you gonna be out of gas? Uh, I might come this time. Actually, I might go and box. I might go pit road this time. Pit this time. I can barely make it on fuel with two stops now. One thing I will definitely admit about this track, it's very hard to get down the pit road. Number 43, nice. I don't want to take the damage repair this time. Uh, I'll increase the tire pressure just a little bit, just to have a little bit more front, uh, a little bit more tire HP. Do I want to decrease the wedge? Alright, we'll see how the, how the run goes. Good stop, guys. Oh my goodness, that was a lightning fast stop. That was like a second and a, a second faster than, than expected. What the heck? Good stuff. Good show by the pit crew yet again, exceeding my expectations and then some. You're clear. Got one on. We were the first ones to head the pit road. Still there. Caution comes out now, though. I might be in trouble. I'm going to be the only car two laps okay, down. Oh, it feels nice to have these four doctor feel goods. Uh, I feel like it's it just improved in the handling a little bit by having 24 PSI now. Then again, I'm the one that's on fresh tires. Everyone else is on worn ass, worn old tires. Top 30 so far. And it's not over yet. Cycles are probably about to be done pretty soon. Like, next few laps, it's going to be over. Yeah, that was Jerry in front of us. I don't think we're going to get to him. I want to have a Pontiac Alliance again with someone. All right, I think this might be the end of the pit road cycle. We're down in 27th. What? You know, I, you know what? That, that's fine. I'll definitely take that. 
This is actually one of the more harder tracks in the game for a rookie career mode like Las Vegas. Well, Las Vegas, I think, is harder. We barely got 40th. But, like, in terms of, like, drivability, like, this is actually one of the hardest tracks on the NASCAR schedule. And we're doing fantastic so far. Other than that, they're, we're all by ourselves again. And our, we're actually, we haven't even been lapped yet. That's surprising. I mean, we're about to be lapped pretty soon. Okay. Okay. There goes the fuel cell a little bit. Yeah, we're starting to fall apart pretty good here. Jimmy Johnson's late in this race. Good for him. This is honestly his, this is actually his sophomore season around this point. And I think that's uh, Jeff, his teammates, come catching up to him. It's going to be a Hendrick battle between the 48 and the 24. Like, there's only two good Hendrick cars in this game, the 48 and 24. But then you got, like, Joe Nemechek and Terry Labonte that, fortunately, just don't do very well. Sadly, I don't think we're going to get a uh, Craven versus uh, Kurt Busch moment in this uh, in this race. This is actually the, ra the same race where they actually had that very iconic photo finish. Gotta be really careful about that. Be really careful on that right rear corner panel, because sometimes even the lightest tap can ruin your day and, well, literally blow your car up. Yeah, we got some friends now behind us, and I knew the car that this was gonna catch us, to catch up to us eventually. I don't know if Jerry's. Uh, Jerry. If Johnny Benson's on the lead lap, but I know the five and the thirty are not. These guys are for position, so I'm going to be racing Number a little five, bit harder. Oh no, I lost it. Ah. That's unfortunate. Oh, we got some takers in pit road already? This is a really early stop for these guys. They're gonna try to go all the way. Oh, shoo, almighty. My bad, Jeffrey. I know I can't last 30 laps of fuel. There's, it's impossible. I have to let out. Benson go by. So yeah, he's for position. Someone got by you. Let's go after it. Clear. At least I have a chance to get, get Johnny Benson back to being an ally again. The 01 car down low. Be careful, buddy. He's friendly now, but one good smack will change his mind real quick. All clear, buddy. Ugh. Yeah, I might have to repair the damage now, actually. Hopefully a caution comes out. Gas tank's getting empty. Honestly, the back end damage should, should give us more, uh, well, makes the car looser. So honestly, this might be a blessing in disguise. I don't want to waste too much time on uh, pit road. So I'm gonna have to grin and bear it here. If a caution comes out, then yeah, I'll come in. I gotta be very careful on the right side of the car though. Gosh, this is not looking good for us. Number 
Now we're the ones holding up the traffic. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh no, I don't like this. I do not, no likey. I no likey. I know likey. I don't like being in this position. Thankfully, I'm hitting this like this next lap coming. I don't like this. Junior, go around me if you can. Uh, all right, we're good. In fact, I'm just pulling off down here. I'm just, I'm not I'm not getting in anyone's way. As I say that. Oh, no, I'm not wasting three seconds on that. I'm going to make the risk and make a, a wedge adjustment here again. It's okay if I'm pitting by myself, honest to goodness. I'd rather, I'd rather have an empty pit road. All right, come on, guys. I need another good stop. The front of the car doesn't even look that bad. It's, I, I guess I'm not sure if it's because of the emulator or what. It's probably the emulator. I think a damage model looks a little bit different than the console version. Alright, that was a good stop. Get back on the track. We're good to go. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to get used to this flapping for like the next 30 laps or so. Way over. Whoa! Don't want to push that tire so too much. Too much. It looks like Tony Stewart just took the lead over Jimmy Johnson. Battle for the lead behind me is getting is getting uh feisty. Sooner or later, these guys are going to have to pit, though. Well, there goes one car. I think that's Sadler. Yeah, that's Sadler. Drift, I didn't want to have. The 20 car is about to put you on I, I know, Spotter, I know. Jimmy went to pit road, I'm not too sure. I don't see him on the uh, icon anymore. There's the smoke I caused. The 29 car is exiting pit road ahead. Something tells me on this last run here, I'm gonna get brutally murdered. More tires won't help us oh yeah, especially since I keep losing the car almost. Okay, uh, and maybe I should not have made that wedge adjustment. I'm really holding up Tony Stewart. <laughs> oh, oh! There was some major contact behind me and I got distracted. That was not a good feat to have. I'm surprised the engine didn't blow up or fuel cell didn't blow up yet. Usually, when it, usually it kind of has a, a good chance of doing so when it, when it gets to that point. So we're getting two more spots there, courtesy of uh, I think Hermie Sadler and Jack Sprague. Oh, we got a blow up. Survey says it's Mayfield. There's Casey and uh, David Green in front of us. These guys are actually in four position. They have not pitted yet. We're actually about to put these guys. Okay, Jimmy Mac, you have to go to pit. Uh oh, something. We have a debris caution. I caused another one. I caused another one. 
I caused yet another debris caution. <laughs> um, I mean, at this point, there's no sense in not pitting. Frame rates game, please. Oh, it won't even show it. All right. Um, we're not going to lose that many spots, I don't think. Uh, we're probably not going to get our lap back anyway, so... Yeah, we only see, like, one car pitting. That's not at the whole field. So we might as well go down and, uh... We might as well, uh... Yeah, well, I might... I might go ballsy and just lower to 22. Put back the wedge back up. I am not making that same mistake. All right. All right, good to know. Darlington is a good frame killer. For me, anyway, it's a frame killer. All right, honestly, guys, just take as much time as you want. I won't. Bl I won't get mad if you make a mistake. Okay, that was expected, actually. These, this, this crew is actually not terrible in terms of, like, uh, like making mistakes. They, they've only made it, like, maybe, like, two mistakes on pit stops that really didn't even matter. Oh, my God. We have still have no acceleration. All right, we're two laps down now. Try to gain as many sp spots as we can for these next ten laps here. Sent Casey up the track a little bit. The 41 car is still there. We're falling back. Focus on your marks, buddy. Number 41. Uh, is still sorry, there. Jack Sprague. You're not making any friends out there. Neither are you. Okay. Whoa. One that, you can't blame me on that one, Hermie. Get mad at 37. Why don't you? Okay, whoa, okay, that's a, that was ill handling right there. Still beside you. All right, here we go. Let's kick get these guys on the exit. There we go. Okay. Oh, they checked up a little bit. That, that, that's what I'm talking about again. What the? 21 just made a pit stop. Oh yeah, great pass, buddy. That's odd. They're on both sides. All right, we're picking them up one at a time now. Here comes our... Number 31 is beating on you. Uh, yeah, oops. They're all around. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy on Robbie Gordon. I'm pretty sure Skinner like that. He got a plus two on that. Like, yeah, thank you for uh, keeping him behind me. <laughs> no, no kit. No, uh... Yeah, that's cool. I'll get out of my way. That's one more name. Just so much drag now. The 16 Could use up Greg Griffel there a little bit. Clear. Yeah, we're getting so many 30s out here today in terms of like minuses. I mean, so far we're having our best finish yet, 29. Our previous best finish was well last episode actually, which was 30th. Still got five laps to go though. I want that bottom though. Give me the bottom. I'll, I'll go underneath you this way if I have to. Do a little bit of rubbing here. Five la well, three laps to go actually for us. But we're two laps down, so we gotta get around these guys quickly. And we're picking them off. Labani next, that's Johnny Benson, and now we got Joe Nemechek. Oh, we have a little bit of contact there. We should have about two to go this time by. Okay, we lost the spot. Okay, we're clear. Take care of that car. 
Oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just shoving people out of my way now. Time to go. I know I'm racing like, a, racing like a dick, and honestly, I don't blame them for, if, they, if they were to take me out. All right, let's see if we can get around uh, our Pontiac teammate here, Benson. One last lap. Okay, hold on. Oh, trust me, I won't be letting him by. Come on, baby. Try to get the last spot. I don't think I'm going to get it. Nah, we're not going to. We're going to settle for 26, looks like. At least get a little bit of share draft points here. Uh, almost on the wall. That's a good day. Best okay. result yet. 26. I know it's tough out there. We'll get another chance, Adam. Gained a friend. Oh, Craven finished fifth. Not bad. Great job. We Jeff Gordon have wins. more cautions than that, don't we? Well, that was good news to the guys who ran out front. More cautions would just have meant more restarts, which is more chances for you to lose positions. The 56 car may have some friends out of the track after this one. Normally, these guys are so competitive that a driver has to work his tail off for every spot. But when you have some friends out there, you can occasionally catch a break. That can help a bunch because every position and every tenth of a second counts. This has been an MRN broadcast of live NASCAR Winston Cup Racing. Until next time, so long, and have a great day. All right. Well, that was a very fantastic race despite the damages, and completely with 50-50-50-50 as well. That, that's, that also makes a huge difference as well. That was fantastic stuff. All right, 245000 in the bank. Yeah, our sponsors are getting pretty happy with us, actually, with all the stuff that we've been doing. A happy team can make all the difference. It looks like some of your team members are happy they signed with you. Keep up the good work and make sure you keep an eye on your team's happiness ratings. Well, that was very good. Let's take a look at the point standings before we leave. Dale Jr. is still leading the po points by nine. Uh, our most recent winner, Jeff Gordon, is not too far behind. Uh, I don't know what happened to Jimmy Johnson. I think he finished second, I think. I don't remember either way. Uh, the, but that'll do it here. For, the, for this race here at, at for part 5 of our career mode. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel out. Uh, we're going to hopefully try to get to uh, maybe 300 subscribers before the uh, before the uh, season ends here. Uh, if you enjoy, So yeah, we'll be we'll seeing you next time. This time at, oh my goodness, here we go at Bristol. Uh, it's going to be a fun race there at Bristol, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, fun for you guys. It's not going to be fun for, us, for me, though, doing the one driving. All right, see you guys at Bristol.